you got a load of 25 to 30 down there easily. Huh? 25 to 30 people at least downtown. Sometimes, sometimes I was on the 12 and they got their load early on a Friday. Yeah. What's for dinner when you get home tonight? Oh, I have no idea. I don't get home till that quarter after nine, so... Usually it's just something fresh, a sandwich or yogurt or something. Yeah. When it gets later at night, I don't like eating super heavy. That bothers my stomach. I imagine you don't like to do that all the time. It's just if you're in a rush, eh? You're yeah. And you'll be like, I just hooked soccer for you. What? And this guy was like, who is Did your husband ever work for transit or no? No. I thought you might have been a transit family. I see why not. You gotta be on your tippy toes all the time. Transit 55, I check your trips. It's at 1639, you're leaving. You got like one minute. And if you're a minute or so late, they don't they don't count that because you can get right back on time. 
Now, if the roads were bad, you wouldn't be on time. <laughs> and there's no one coming, and they stay red on yeah. your side. I know. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, look at the traffic on 64 there. Oh. All, all coming off the deer foot. is nice and warm, that's for sure. The heaters must automatically go on. The bus gets to a certain temperature and they turn off. I think the 2001 buses have that as well. You just have to set it. The 2001's crank really um, high though. They heat up the bus quick. Um, the 2001's heat up really quick though. Besides the Novas, I think that's the, these are the only buses that have air conditioning. All the others don't. This must be fun in the winter going up this hill. Oh, they keep it pretty cool. Yeah. Do you actually came over here once? What does the solid stuff in here? Yeah, you can look at the picture. I'm going to tell you. But it's still so much fun. Like, yeah, I definitely don't understand that. Stupid name. It happens on these ones a week. Yeah, it's not one. Well, not two weeks ago. That's why I got stuck there. Oh, on the Route 12, there's a big hill, and that road never gets clean very often. The buses get stuck up there. So you told me on your Route 20, you only did one trip in that snowstorm. When you had several to do. You're lucky you got one done. And by the time the other driver was ready, it was time to go back to the garage, right? It took weeks to clean up, though. A couple months to fully clean up. Do you go to the A&W after you're done? If you want to get a burger, you go to the A&W, right? No, I just go to the Burger King. Yeah, 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 I just go to the Burger
grab a burger on the way home. December 12th, brother. I don't know, sometimes they go there, sometimes they go on the That's the next year, bro. Five minutes you're scheduled to uh, leave, I think, right? Well, it says I'm still on schedule, so. <laughs> but these lights, right? Oh, well, these ones here are horrible. Yeah, they take forever. And there's barely, like, look at this. There's, like, you got a guy going, a girl going across the street, but there's no traffic there. Is that the one where there's that little transit way, right? No, that's the one where you turn on onto 14th Street by the police station up there and the winter pump. Okay. They stay green for about three and a half, two and a half minutes. You mean red or green? I get a, the green light on, north, on the beginning north and south on 14th Street is two and a half minutes. So when would your bus break down? Just at the end of the trip sometimes? Like when your bus would break down or midday sometimes? It's like it hated you going to the hospital. It wasn't the 8,000, what? No, it was one of these ones. You think it would be one of the older equipment? These aren't even that old. But at least it died when you were at the hospital oh, yeah, and not sure. on the yeah. road. One of the, the breakdown videos, the fire department, they were putting up the mess. That's what happened to um, one of my favorite drivers on Route 12. He was supposed to take over at Shawnee's. It, it was a 7800 series. Yeah. And it's like, take over at this creek. And he told me I pull into Fish Creek and this bus is leaking antifreeze and oil all over the place. And two fire trucks had to go there because the uh, coolant went into the sewer system. Yeah. Yeah, we are right on schedule. You know some drivers have done that, they leave like 10 minutes early. I've seen drivers do that. Yeah, there's a few that don't wait around. When they're supposed to sit there, they just leave. Yeah. Well then, you're going to be sitting there all night if you leave early the rest of your trips. Well that's it, sometimes it's best just to sit back and wait, wait, wait. Because you know you're going to be... Like, I mean, if you're 20 minutes late, then obviously you have to go or make up time. Yeah, but if you sit, yeah, because when I did the 20th last winter, I sat there and I waited 
Because this terminal is the major one in the city. Yes. One day, if 1046 comes out again for a charter next year, I'm going to go on it. So, 1046 is my favorite Jimmy. The reason is they preserved it to run for charters. It's the, yup. Yeah, it's sitting in Spring Gardens in the garage. Where it was last time I was there. So. Then it came out this August for a charter. It went from Brentwood all the way to Whitehorn. Oh, okay. You must well keep one Jimmy around and use it for charters. You create new memories with that bus when they bring oh, yeah, it up. I don't think they could use them now, eh? They would leak too much oil. Oh, yeah. They're great at the snow, though. Oh, were they? Oh, yeah. So just drop off passengers and we're, um, out of here, are we? Yep. There's the route three, um, Three, isn't it? You want the best? Two, sorry. Yeah.